I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. First, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. The crowd really making it difficult. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Chase picks up about three with that catch. Booming kick. He fields it at the 17. At the corner. And down he goes at the 34. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and two. Down, two down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Check, check. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And it's caught. He's on the run for the 10. Touchdown, Gators. He makes the PAT. A quick two-play, 66-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. McPherson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Florida is loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue it. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Fires out quick, it's picked off. And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corner. It's first and 10, ball in 34. Florida up seven points. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. This one's going deep to the end zone. Leaps picked off. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah, this guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. From their own 20-yard line. First down. And they get nice yardage on that run. And down he 
he goes around the 40-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. Zips it to the tight end, and he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Back 41. We've got a wedge down. Ready, Chuck. Green 19. Green 19. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here comes the pressure. Gets past the tackler. Picked off. It's the quarterback. The quarterback has made some really careless throws. But you got to also give credit to the defense for being able to clean up the mess and create the turnovers. First and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. Florida is up seven. Here comes the pressure. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. Made at the 27. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. And he adds the extra point. It was a five-play, 51-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Goes right, picked off, and he's leveled the 37-yard line. Brad, it's still early in this game. They might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That'll make it third and nine. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Mike 
taken down around the nine yard line. This secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. Touchdown, Gators. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. This is a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare, is having to defend a quarterback that has an ability to run the football. He's already scored twice in his first half, and the defensive coordinator needs to start accounting for him and his ability to run the football. And he hits the PAT. McPherson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Gators have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in the football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point. But just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. That makes it first and ten. Hey, Mike, get you one. Mike, get you one. Let him. Throws it deep. No, incomplete. From their own 36-yard line. Second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He scrambled. Brought down around the 48-yard line. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Slings it, and he's tackled in the open field. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. We've played one quarter. Florida leads 21-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. 41's coming. 41 to Mike. Ready. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle around the 34-yard line. First down. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. Fires quick, he catches another. And he's taken down right around the 12-yard line. That makes it first and 10. the draw tackled in the backfield and the defense just swarmed over him on that one yeah they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at about the five-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. They're going to go for the easy three here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. 
And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. He fights forward to about the 26. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. They get this one off and it's a beauty. He showed a good burst there. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gives it off. Decent run here, right side. When you only need a couple of yards on third down, as a quarterback, you always want to try to find a receiver to throw to that's across the first down marker. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. Florida's offense came out of the gate like gangbusters, but they have slowed things down now. I just don't sense the same energy from this team that we saw early in the game when they just came out. They were ready, they were excited. It seems that they kind of let their foot off the accelerator, but now they're opening up an opportunity for this team to get back into this game and maybe take the lead. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down around the 35-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled in the open field. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick out to his receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 46. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Swings it out left to the halfback. He's tackled at the 48. He's going right. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. From the 28-yard line, first down. Zips it to the back, and they'll get him in the backfield. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that.
fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Kicks up. That's a tough break there for the kicker. Still, our score, 21-3, Florida. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but i got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Wideout makes the first down catch. And down he goes at about the 47-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He goes downtown. And it's picked off. It's the safety. half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 21-3, Gators. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're, you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you, you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or you know change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You've got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 25-yard line, second down. And he goes down quickly. That's a that makes it third and three. Check, check, check. Yes, yes, yes. Runs right for a nice game. That's good for the game. That's good for the They make the 
stop at the 46-yard line. made at the 47. And they got him for a loss. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll drop him for a loss. From their own 17-yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 19. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Hits him hard at the 42. He gets out to about the 45 yard line. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. He steps up at the 44. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He's tackled at the 25. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. He might have a chance. Takes a hand on, tackled for a loss. And that play was snuffed out from the get-go. You're right. This is a delayed handoff to the tailback, and the defense wasn't fooled at all there. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down around the 46-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. Pierce up the gut. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's got it with room to run. 
He's knocked out of bounds at the 49. That makes it third and seven. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 40. They come out in a five wide set. Slings it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30. Strike to the receiver. Tackle right around the 20. Five wide. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he's tackled at about the 17 yard line. Huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. It's the 11th play of the drive. Hey, number eight's coming, number eight's Mike, Mike. Ready, come on, let's go. And he's taken down at the six yard line. Call it again, three yards. That brings him second and goal. Nice run there. So with one quarter remaining, Florida leads 21-3. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Off, and he's met in the backfield. No good on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. McPherson ready to kick. He got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Fires it out. And he is drilled at the 30-yard line. Miller with the tackle at the 30-yard line. That brings him second and five. Keep 15. Keep 15. I hope you brought your left arm out to take you. Two times. White 80. Dead red. White 80. Dead red. 80. Looks left. Picked off. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And a handoff, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and 10. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of one on the play. That brings us third and ten. Deep pass to the end zone. Got it. Touchdown, Florida. And he converts the extra point.
They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And for Brennan, it's been one of those days he'd like to forget. Well, we knew coming in that this quarterback was going to face a great defense. And like any quarterback that believes in himself and has confidence, he thinks he can make every play. But because he hasn't had that success, I think he's starting to get happy feet. I think he's starting to force the issue a little bit instead of just letting the game come to him. It's been a performance filled with flaws. But when you're on the road, you can't expect perfection. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Got a man. Watch out here. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 51. Mike 51. Here we go. Bring that Tiger. There's a strike complete. That's a great tackle at the 46. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Set, check, 180. Regular, 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 80. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the play. From the 21-yard line. It's first down. Caught him, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That was also one down. yard on the way. That makes it second and ten. ten. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. What a play, and that is first and goal. The defense saw a clear path to the quarterback and got a little too wide-eyed there. They need to watch the over-pursuit and play with more discipline. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Here's play number 10 on the drive. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, LSU! Oh, that's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. He makes the PAT. They'll bring him down at the 45. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. So much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Under a minute left in the game. They get nice yardage on that run. Nice 
nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. And so that's going to do it. The Gators get the victory. 31-10. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. I thought this would have been a little closer than the scoreboard indicates. Maybe that says something about how good a game they played. Florida could have just as easily found themselves on the other end of this score. That's how even these two teams were coming in. But they played the better game today and should be very happy about the win. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.